Hey guys, Barry here, Epic Cycles, and in today's video, we will be going over the NAMI Burn E display and going through all the settings and how to make all the adjustments, how to fine tune it, and much more. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask below, and we'll get back to you with that. We're going to leave um, all the information as well. If you check the description below, all the P, all the different P settings. Uh, in the description, so let's uh, let's get started. So when we first turn on the display, you'll notice a lot of different indicators. Uh, so we can go through that right now, and I can advise what everything means. So looking here from the top left, we can see there's a, a little light icon here, which would signify that your lights are on. Your lights can be controlled with through the control panel. So you have a the light button here. So now the lights are off. The light indicator is turned off. Your next, now I put it back on, so it's back on. Uh, right below that, we have signals left and right. So if you press the left signal, you'll notice that the left signal is flashing over here, an indicator, and the lights on the rear and the sides will be flashing as well, signaling any vehicles uh, behind you, in front of you, wherever this thing is, has 360 degrees of visibility. So in the rear and all around, which is fantastic. You have the right signal as well. So now we have the right blinking. Now we actually have the right and left blinking. So you can see both right and left blinking here. So you don't have to guess whether your signals are on or off. It's visible right here on the display. You click it again and it turns off. Uh, just below the signals, you have your horn button. So we have a horn. Um, moving forward, we have uh, PAS. PAS uh, stands for, actually this will be on when you have a non-zero uh, non start. This is in the settings, we'll explain it, but right now basically I can hit the throttle and the scooter's not moving anywhere. This is recommended for safety reasons because some people, you know, you can, in, there's a setting here where you can have it set that as soon as you touch the throttle, whether it's at a standstill or not, it'll just take off and go. Here we set it, we like to set our scooters to a kickstart so someone doesn't accidentally hit the throttle and the scooter flies out of control. Uh, so PAS stands for pedal assist kind of, pedal assist sensor, so it means it has to be moving and the throttle will go, so it signifies to you that this setting is on. Next to the right of it, we have our battery display. So here we can see that we're at 82, which is in percentage out of 100, so the battery's about 82% charged. Uh, below, we have our speedometer, so this, uh, as you speed up, this number will increase. You also have here kind of like a car display speedometer. Um, and then just below that is your mode. So there are uh, five different modes represented by five different letters. So the first mode, eco mode, which will be, you know, it stands for economy, slower. Uh, as you increase up, it will, uh, it will increase. D stands for dynamic. S stands for sport, C for custom, X is custom two, or some people like to call it extreme mode because that's the fastest mode. Uh, below here is your uh, voltage. So right now, you know, we're, this is a 72 volt system. If it was 100% charged, this would be close to 84, 84 volts. So this is another great way to measure uh, a little bit more accurate in my opinion than the actual uh, percentage of your battery. And as you get used to your scooter, this you know, will really gauge a little bit closer to uh, what kind of battery you have remaining. And, and you'll learn that as you, as you go along. Okay, now, uh, if you press the M button or the power button, you can get to more, uh, to different types of modes. So if I press M, you can see AVS pops, pops up here, which is your average speed, the average speed you are riding during your ride. Tap it again. Max S, which was your max speed during that ride. Range is really nice. It just gives you a, an approximate range of your battery, so how many kilometers you have left before your battery dies. And then back to your uh, speed. So there you go. That's with the M button. Now, other settings, if you tap the power button, 
you can see here is CR, which would be your, uh, the temperature of your rear controller. Then there's CF, which is the temperature of your front controller. This is your trip, so total trip, total kilometers driven during this current ride. ODO stands for odometer, so that's your total uh, kilometers or mileage that you've done, your lifetime mileage for the scooter, just like your car. Uh, G is the G-force acceleration and braking. V is back here to your voltage settings. And then AVE is your average energy consumption. All right, now we're going to go into the advanced basic settings. Uh, to do that, you can just simply double tap the M button. When you double tap the M button, you get the P1. So P1, there's actually, within P1, you have seven different settings that you can uh, uh, do to control how fast uh, your motors, your front and rear motors will go at your different settings, depending on if you're on eco, dynamic, sport, custom, or extreme mode. So to do that, you can simply tap M. Now we can, now you see that on P1, X is flashing. You can go down to C, S, D, or E. So at every different level of your of driving mode, you can go into that and start adjusting the different, uh, different modes. So let's say if we got to sport mode, we could tap M. Once you're in the mode, let's say C, P1, C, you want to double tap M again. And then you have the P1, P2, P1, 3, P1, 4, P1, 5, P1, 6, up to P1, 7. So I'm just going to quickly explain to you what the different uh, settings are within the P1 settings. So uh, P1 is P11 is the adjustment of the acceleration power of the rear engine, starting which varies from one to five. One refers to the weakest starting power and five to the strongest starting power. Uh, P2 is gonna be your um, adjustment of the starting acceleration power of the front and rear engine, which varies from one to five. One refers to the weakest starting power and five to the strongest power. Again, uh, number three is gonna be uh, the adjustment of the maximum allowed output current of the rear motor, which varies from 10 to 100. The maximum allowable output power is shown in percentage to the rear motor. P14, this is the adjustment of the maximum allowable current output of the front motor, which varies from 10 to 100. The maximum allowed output current is indicated in percentage to the rear motor. For E mode, the maximum power is limited to 40%. For DSCX modes, the maximum power is unlimited. Um, number five is the adjustment of the maximum speed, which varies from one to 100. Uh, the maximum permitted output current is indicated in percentage. For E mode, the maximum power, again, is limited to 40%. For D, S, C, and X modes, the maximum power is unlimited. Number six, P16, is the electric braking power adjustment, which varies from zero to five. Uh, that no electric brake is engaged. One refers to the weakest electric brake, and five refers to the most powerful one. So right now you can see here, we're set to one. If we wanted to change that, it's a strong, power, strong electric braking power, which is actually very strong, we would go to five. So I'll just leave this back at one, and you can play with that to see the difference. And finally, uh, P17 is a turbo adjustment, which varies from zero to five as well and this turbo setting gives the scooter 12% more top speed when set to maximum. Zero refers to deactivating turbo mode, one refers to the weakest turbo. Once the turbo is activated and if uh, the temperature of the controller and the battery charge are adequate, the turbo pictogram on the display will appear on the panel. While driving, by pressing the plus button for one second, the turbo mode will be active and will be displayed on the instrument panel somewhere here. You'll see like a turbo, a red turbo, uh, kind of like an engine. So that's, uh, that's the P1 settings, which is uh, very intricate. Now let's uh, move on. P2 is gonna be how uh, bright your display is. So five will be the brightest. As you move down, you'll see it dims up. So uh, P2, one will be the, the least bright, the darkest, P5 the brightest.
Next one, P3, this is uh, how long uh, your scooter can idle for before the power shuts off. So right now we have it set to 30. Uh, so in, within 30 minutes, the scooter will turn off on its own. You can change that to turn it off if you never want it to turn off itself, or if you want it to shut off faster, which maybe I think 30 minutes is a little long, you can go down to say like 15 minutes all the way down to one minute if you want. So I'll just leave it at uh, 15 minutes, which I think is good. Uh, next setting is uh, P4. This is P4, your P4 setting is what uh, uh, metric, what, what the scooter will be displayed in for the speed, whether it be in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. We're in Toronto, Canada, so we go in Canada, we go with kilometers, so we're gonna have it set to zero. If you wanted to change it to miles per hour, you would change it to one. So then your scooter would be displayed in miles per hour. So we'll just leave this at kilometers. P5, the P5 setting is the voltage, uh, voltage of your system. So this is the NAMI Bernie. It is a 72 volt system. So we're gonna leave it at 72, but it does have the capabilities to go, to go down. Right now, 72 is actually the highest. All right, so you can see, you can go down 60, 52, 48 to 36. So we'll leave it at the 72. P6 is your pole magnetic settings inside your motor. Uh, this is something that's set by the factory and it's always highly recommended that you never touch the pole magnetic settings. So just, just avoid P6 completely. Um, P7, P7 is an important one. P7 is uh, your throttle start mode. Uh, so right now we have it set to one which means that it does require a kick start. If you want your uh, throttle to engage instantaneously with no kick, just by simply touching the throttle, you would change that to zero and the throttle would be active immediately, even at a standstill. So we're just gonna leave this back at one. So kick start. P8, this is your uh, setting for your tire size. So right now it's set to 11. The NAMI Bernie, of course, does have 11 inch tires, so it's set to the correct parameter. You don't really want to touch this, but if you're on a NAMI, if you're, you know, if it's a different scooter, if it displays on a different scooter for it by, by any reason, for any reason, you can always adjust the tire size. And what this does essentially is it just measures the speed that you're going at. So it's going to give you, if you, if it's accurate to your tire size, you're going to get an accurate speed reading. Oops, I put it to 11.5. Let's go back. Okay, P9, this is cruise control setting. So you do have a cruise control setting. So uh, if you're right now zero, it means the cruise control is off. And actually there's an indication on the display in the main menu uh, when you're outside, which will show if your cruise control is on or off. So right now at zero, there's no indication. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So at zero with cruise control off, there's no, there's gonna be no indicator of like, it shows like a little green odometer. So right now it's empty. Let me turn cruise control on for you so you can see what that looks like. So you know that it's on or off. So one is cruise control on. So we'll set cruise control on. We'll go back into the main display. And now we can see here, we have like an odometer here, green, which signifies cruise control is now on. Okay, so P10. This is, uh, displays the uh, instantaneous efficiency of the controller. Uh, so if, if you enter zero field, information is disabled. Enter one to yield information is enabled. P11 is the maximum controller current. The maximum output efficiency of the controller is indicated in percentage according to P10. P12 is controller overheating, selected the value. So this one shows at 110. So if it reaches uh, 110 degrees, it, the safety mode will come up and um, everything will be disabled. So this is a good safety feature, nice to have. So once selected, the value is reached in the front of the motor or the rear of the motor, Over, overheating protection pictogram will display here. And again, um, it will, be, uh, it will be disabled, so the maximum current limited to 85% and turbo mode will be disabled. So P13, this is the 
battery protection mode as well. Uh, what, what it does is what, once, whatever, depending on what you set it to, it's set by, uh, by default to 25. Once the battery hits 25, it's gonna automatically change your driving mode uh, to E, economy mode. So if you're on you know, sport, dynamic, sport, custom, or extreme mode, it's gonna take it down to economy and you cannot change it out of economy mode until the battery is recharged at least above 25%. All right, uh, next final setting is P14. So P14, this is actually if you, there's no key on this scooter. So if for, for some, some protection, you could actually put a password. You could password protect it so it does not work unless you put a four digit code. So that's what P14 is. You could enter here a four digit code and that would then be required once you turn on the scooter to activate it, you gotta put in your four digit code. So that's that. All right, so now that we've gone over all the display settings, I just wanna actually uh, let you guys know about the different list of error codes. So if there's a specific error code, what that means. So if you see uh, error code 80 pop up, that means that there's some problem with the throttle. 201 means there's a rear motor error. 202 front motor error, 301 communication error for the rear controller, 302 is communication error for the front controller, um, 401 is rear controller error, and 402 is front controller error. All right, so I think that sums uh, everything up. Again, I'm gonna put everything down below in the description uh, so you can see like, manual style. Uh, in case you missed anything and want to reference it to, with the video, uh, that'd be great. Um, yeah, other than that, again, if there's any questions, uh, please ask below. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit today. If you did, please don't forget to give us uh, a like and subscribe below for more, uh, more videos, more tutorials, rides, and, and so forth. And, uh, any, uh, yeah, any uh, suggestions or comments, we always appreciate them. Otherwise, uh, thank you for listening and uh, have an epic day or night wherever you are. Peace.